All right. This is uh, quitsurvive.com. Uh, Josh here and my brother Jake. And we're standing around a, a campfire here out in the backyard. And uh, we've got something we want to show you guys that we think is pretty, pretty exciting. Remember, you heard it here first at equipsurvive.com. And uh, what we're going to do is Jake accidentally, my brother, made a, an observation um, one evening at uh, his campfire. He propped up a solar panel, propped up his gear. Um, it was after dark and had it setting next to his campfire and just happened to notice that uh, his solar panel was taking a charge from his campfire. It was actually picking up the infrared light, um, which is heat, coming off of his campfire. Um, and so we think that has some really, really cool uh, possibilities and a lot of potential um, for a survival situation. That means you could actually gather power and energy um, with your solar panel in the dark. Actually, after the sun goes down, I should say, but with campfire light, so you don't have to have good solid sun necessarily um, to get a charge. So we're going to show you um, what Jake discovered, and we're going to demonstrate that with a couple of different solar panels here. All right, so we're going to start off here with um, just a, a standard, um, fairly newer solar panel. I don't even know what kind, what make it is or anything, um, but just, you know, nothing special about it. Pretty straightforward. It's got these clips um, that come straight off of it, and we've got them hooked up to the voltmeter here, the multimeter, and um, I've got the solar panel aimed away from the campfire, and um, you can see it's just got minimal, minimal, minimal voltage coming out of it. Um, not much at all, 1.18, 1 whatever, 1 volt. All right, now I'm going to turn, if you can see it here, the solar panel toward the fire. And now you can see it's 13.45. It's considerably more. Now, it's not the same as if it would be in broad daylight, obviously, but we're definitely picking up um, power with the solar panel off this campfire. I want to show you one other thing real quick. I'm going to turn this solar panel away from the fire again. You can see how it's dropped down. I've just got it hanging out behind me here, behind my back. It's dropped down below a volt. And now I'm going to do something even more interesting. Now what I've got is I've got it pressed up against my warm belly, okay? It's not picking up any light, it's not picking up any campfire light, it's just picking up my body heat. And so some of what the solar panel is picking up on is definitely visible light, but some of it is invisible light spectrum, so infrared light. Um, I'm gonna go back toward the campfire again. You can see it shoots up. You obviously don't want to put your solar panel too close to the fire. And then take it off of me and off the fire and it's below a volt again. Alright, so not only is it picking up on the visible light from the campfire, but it's also picking up on the warmth, which heat, for those of you that don't know, is actually a form of light um, in that it's also on the electromagnetic spectrum. In, in the form of infrared light, which is non-visible. And then uh, we have the visible spectrum, and campfire gives off both. So we're going to do the same thing again, and we're going to do it with a different solar panel. All right, the next thing we're going to show you here is um, we're going to use a Goal Zero briefcase-style solar panel. Uh, I forgot to mention, the last one, the last panel that we just used, that, did you say it was a 20-watt or 19? Okay, so this is actually a 30-watt Goal Zero briefcase-style panel. It closes up real nicely, but uh, it's a product that we actually sell on our, in our store, EquipSurvive.com, uh, the gear store. So uh, we're going to show the same thing, only with this um, more branded commercial um, uh, grade of solar panel. And this is a 30-watt, so give us a second, we'll set up. All right, so now I've got the uh, Goal Zero panel. I've got it in one hand, and it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to have to bear with me for a second here. Hold it with one hand and 
Let's start with, we need more hands. So uh, you can see we were under a volt like we were for the last um, solar, uh, for the last reading. And now I'm gonna move the, the goal zero solar panel over toward the fire. And the fire has actually dimmed down a little bit since we were last doing this. And uh, this panel is a little harder to hold up like I was the other one. But as you can see, it's um, picking up the fire light and heat again. And um, was it at the beginning? I mean, this is more than 10 times, isn't it? I couldn't remember. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so as you can see, I'll pull it away. And you can see it drops. So clearly solar panels, our solar panels, both of these are picking up um, campfire light and heat um, and translating them into power. And again, this is not the same kind of power you would get from the sun, but in a situation uh, like Jake was in Alaska, where you have a little light situation um, for much of the much of the day, you only have four hours of daylight at you know in the winter time. Um, the potential of this is huge. You could even do it inside uh, at your fireplace. Um, and something else that Jake did that obviously would help a great deal is. Um, he doubled his campfire light with a mylar blanket and we're not going to demo that tonight but we will do another video showing that but as you can imagine that would be like kind of having two campfires so um, you would get up into the um, higher numbers maybe 17 18 volts even with the goal zero panel um, Jake's panel again not sure what it is but it seems to do a little bit better even though it's uh, wattage is rated lower than this 30 watt goal zero panel but you can see both panels are picking up um, thermal uh, IR light and um, the heat in the campfire light so um, I think this is pretty exciting so stick around for more updates on this thanks